Hi everyone, from today's video we're jumping into the Windows Action Commands part of the Windows Manipulation series and I am going to break this part out into several videos and in today's video I'm going to cover all the commands from WinActivate to Win Menu Select Item. In the next video it will be Win Hide, Win Show, Win Move and then in the last one which could be in the form of multiple videos as well is going to be about Win Set. So if you're interested in the highlighted commands then Please continue watching. All right, welcome back. So let's get started. So a lot of the commands that I've shown you on the top of the list are actually very simple. And some of them I've shown you already when activate, for example. And these ones all have very similar or exactly the same syntax so you just got to provide win text title or win text or exclude and exclude title and exclude text if you wish to if you don't want to identify certain types of windows and um, this is basically the syntax for all of these commands that you see up here the other ones have slightly different syntaxes so i'm going to uh, go through them separately and so beginning with the win activate command i've shown you this and demonstrated to you this command a lot of times so there's nothing new about it so I've got a notepad right here this is the win title for the notepad so if I go ahead and run it my focus is going to change to my new notepad like that so when I type stuff out it's going to act it's going to be typed out in that notepad window because it has activated it when activate bottom on the other hand the difference between WinActivate and WinActivate Bottom is that when you have multiple of these notepads, for example, or windows that match that win title that you provide, so the class notepad, WinActivate Bottom will activate the earliest activated window. So that's going to be the window that is sitting at the bottom most position of the other windows that are going to be identified. So WinActivate is going to identify and activate the most latest activated window when activate bottom is going to activate the earliest activated window so if i go ahead and run it then it's going to activate this one and then now that is the last activated window when i run this command again then it's going to find that one the one in the middle which is sitting at the bottom and so it brings up that one and then if I run it again, then it's going to be the one on the left hand side. And that up brings up the left hand side when I run it again. So that's the difference between win activate and win activate bottom. And so let's move on to win maximize. Win maximize is going to maximize the window, as you can uh, imagine. And so let me just quickly maximize the notepad window and restore it so restore means basically when you have a notepad that is maximized that button is going to restore the window back into the original uh, size right so i'm going to put a sleep of two seconds restore it back to the original size so it's going to be back into this shape and then minimize it sleep for two seconds and then restore it again. So let me go ahead and run this. So it's going to first maximize that notepad. Two seconds later, it's going to restore it and then minimize it immediately. Sleep for two seconds and restore it again. So that's how you use those commands. There is uh, what's called win minimize all, win minimize all undo. This is exactly the same as the Windows default short key, uh, which I think works by uh, win key and the am key, I think which minimizes all the windows that you have uh, showing up on your PC um, and minimum minimize undo will unminimize all the windows that you have minimized using the win minimize all command. So if I bring up a notepad and a folder like that, if I go ahead and run this, it's going to minimize all of them and bring them back up after two seconds, right? Okay, so let's move on to win close. Win close closes the window. So let me bring up my notepad window again. There we go. Um, 
this is going to close the notepad so let me just comment this out and go ahead and run it then it's going to close the notepad as expected however if you <clears throat> for example typed something out then when you try to close the window out it's going to give you that close prompt right and if you say for example uh i'm gonna put the asterisk in front so it identifies the window correctly so if i go ahead and run it it's not going to be able to close it out because you get the window prompt and when you put a message box like that i put that in to demonstrate to you that the script will move on to the next lines of codes uh when it fails to close the window so let me just go ahead and run it you can see how the message box shows up it doesn't get stuck because of this window prompt it will just go on until or it will move on to the next line of code and in the win close syntax there is a parameter called seconds to wait and so if you fill that out so if i put in a value of three for example it's going to wait for up to three seconds until the window gets closed before moving on to the next lines of code so if i go ahead and run it i'll get that closure prompt nothing happens and then three seconds later you get the message box that says closed and if i say for example press don't save button it's going to move straight onto the message box then afterwards so if i go don't say don't save then it's going to show up that message box because it, i have successfully closed the window out and that's how i use the seconds to close and moving on to win kill win kill on the other hand is going to uh, terminate the window regardless of whether you get something uh, like this window prompt showing up like that it's just going to just going to close the window out so let me just show you um and go ahead and run it then it's going to show that prompt but it's going to ignore it and as you can see it just closed out of that um there is a window i mean seconds to wait parameter I'll just show you here but that is useful only when the win kill command is unable to uh, close a window out for whatever reason uh, maybe it requires an admin right or whatever then this seconds to wait is going to be useful in making your script wait for a specific number of seconds before moving on to the next line of code otherwise it's just going to move on to the next lines of codes moving on to win set title win set title allows you to set the title of a window um temporarily and so i'm going to give this window untitled notepad window a temporary title of this is a new title and so i've just run the script and as you can see the title of the window has been changed to this is a new title from untitled notepad but if i type something out it changes back to untitled dash notepad and that's what i mean by temporary uh, this only works for a, until you take an action on the window or you still refresh or something as such now if i bring up my uh, folder and try to change the name of the or title of the folder i can do that too so now i'm just on the script and as you can see the title of the folder has been changed this is a new title although the folder obviously the name is the same but if i do a refresh it's going to go back to my original title folder title of the folder temporary scripts you can also do it on google chrome as well and so the title of the chrome right now is new tab dash google chrome i'm going to give it a new name of new tab dash apple chrome for example now if i hover my mouse cursor onto the tab it looks as though it hasn't changed at all but then if you look at the windows spy google chrome has changed to apple chrome and so that's how, how the wind title gets changed now if i try to take an action on this window by providing a window title say for example i want to move this uh, window by providing the title of the window i know i haven't covered win move command it's going to be covered in my next video and if you provide an old title of new tab dash 
Google Chrome in the win title parameter. I'm going to move this to an X coordinate of 500, Y coordinate of 400, and remove all the rest to maintain the same width and height. Um, if I go ahead and run this, nothing's going to happen because my script has failed to find this window. And that is because the title of this window is Apple Chrome. So if I go ahead and run it after changing the window title to Apple Chrome, as you can see, the command has successfully moved the window to a new coordinate like that. I can move this further out to the right in this banner and so on and so forth. So that's how you use the win set title command. Win, win menu select item, which is the last command that we're going to explore today, um, is going to be a command that allows you to execute the menu items and the sub menu items inside certain windows. So, so by certain windows, I mean the windows that have this classic structure of file edit format view and help. It works on notepad. It doesn't work on most other programs, unfortunately, but if you are dealing with a classic window that has a classic menu setup like that, then it's going to work. And therefore, this is going to be useful if you are using it on these types of windows. So let me just go ahead and show you some examples. Win menu select item auto archive class notepad. So this notepad file save is going to be clicking the file menu item and then go on to the save as a sub menu item. So if you look at the syntax of this command, as you can see, there is the menu, which is file sub menu one is save as sub menu two, three, four, five, six are going to be the sub menus nested in the sub menus above them. Uh, for example, I think view has a sub menu called zoom. Zoom has several sub menus like that. So that's going to be sub menu two in this instance. And so if I go ahead and run it, then I'm going to get that save as prompt opened up because it sent, uh, it sent the command like that file access is going to be file access. Actually, I'm not going to run that far edit replace it's going to do edit and replace. So it's going to bring up that replace mini window like that. And you can also go by the position of the menu item as well. So one followed by the ampersand sign is going to be file. So the first one, two ampersand file is going to be edit. Three is going to be format and so on and so forth. And in the sub menu, three is going to be open. So if I go ahead and run it, then I'm going to get the open prompt like that. And also you can mix up the text and the number as well. So edit 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 is going to be the replace one. So if I go ahead and run it, then that just try to find something to replace it. So for example, so you try to find this and replace it with something else. And that is what it tried to do um, just now. It works with the site as well. So I've got site right here. I can maybe make it go do view full screen. So that's going to be view full screen like that. So if we go ahead and run this script, then it's going to make my site go full screen like that. And that's how you can use the win menu select item command on site application as well. So this is it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.